For this exam question, it says below is a drawing of a part of a point of cell display. Complete the third angle orthographic projection by adding a front view and an isometric drawing of the shape in the boxes provided. Okay, so this is a two part question. Um, first of all, it's asking to do a orthographic front view here where the space is. And you've already got the plan view, which is the top view, bird's eye view. And you've also got the side view there already. So you need to use these um, so you know um, where all the features are and the size. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw down projection lines really lightly so I know where I need to draw my front view. So I'm gonna do that from the plan view. And then I'm also gonna do that from the side view. So making sure my ruler lines up perfectly. Right now I know this is where I need to draw my front view. So I know the front view is gonna have solid lines for that shape. So I'm just gonna go a bit, a little bit harder over the projection lines I've just drawn. Now what I can see on the plan view, the product goes in a little bit here. So I need to show that on the front view. So what that's gonna show us is solid black lines. So again, I'm using, it needs to be in line with the bit where it comes in and it should be a solid line. Because if you imagine this product showing in front of you, you would be able to see it sort of dip in like that. We've also got on here some hidden details. Hidden details are shown on the plan view. There's basically a hole, uh, drill holes that go all the way through, I can see, because um, I can see the side view. And when you can see a circle with a cross over it, that represents a drill hole. So I'm not going to be able to see it on the front view because it's actually coming in from the side. So I need to show this as hidden details. So the way this will show is I've got dotted lines. So these are long dash lines to represent where the drill goes through. And that would be for the bottom one as well because there's two drill holes. So I'll just draw that one in as well. Okay, so nice, neat, long dash lines. And then we've also, as seen at the top, They've got smaller dash lines to show where the um, the outside of the drill hole is. Okay, so the big dash lines that I've just drawn there, that represents where the, the middle of the hole is. And the little dash lines show the outside of the hole. So that should be in line with the top of the circle. So this time I'm gonna do little dash lines Okay, again, lining up with the top of the circle. So just one last thing. I notice with the plan view, where the drill holes are, can you see how the lines project out of the product? I'm just gonna do that to make it look the same on here as well. Okay, and that is done. The second part of the question requires you to draw a isometric drawing of the shape. So you've got an isometric grid here. Now you know what the plan view, the front view and side view look like. So you need to try and think about how what that will look like as a 3D drawing. I'm going to start by drawing a isometric rectangle. So I just need to measure the box, it's 30 millimetres. And the length of it is 55 millimetres. Right, so the depth, so I know how big to make the top. The top is here, so I'm gonna measure that. That is 35, so I need to make sure I'm going 35 back. Right, so I've got a basic isometric box here. I know though that I need to draw in this front piece in so if I work on that now that's 10 millimeters in so I know that it's going to be coming in about there so what I'm going to do is draw a line up like that and like that okay so it's still not going quite in I need to measure the depth of that that's five millimeters so that's just one triangle back so this line here needs to go now, it's just there as a guideline for me. Okay, so it also cuts in obviously at the top, so I need to show that as well. One triangle back. 
Okay, so that's the basic cuboid drawn. What I also need to do then, I know on the side, we've got some drill holes in there. So I can see that the drill holes are halfway. So halfway on here is one, two, three triangles along. So I'm just gonna put a little dot there. So I've, I've just marked out where the middle of the holes need to go. So the actual holes are about five millimeters on the drawing. So it's gonna be something like that. So what I've done is just drawn a little guideline of a box, an isometric um, box. Um, what I need to do is draw my circle within that box. So your holes should look elliptical. Okay, so like a stretched circle because it isometric view will show it like that. Now I'm just going to rub out the guidelines because all I want to see is just the drill holes. So it should look something like that. And that is finished.